we're going to start off with three circles. So the first one's the largest one and draw it just slightly to the left hand side of the page. Now remember this doesn't have to be perfect, just draw a rough circle. It might help to draw around something or if you have a compass that could be useful too. So things you could draw around are glass, if you've got a glass or if you've got some coins, you'll need pretty big coins, um, maybe a small bowl. If not, just draw one like I'm doing at the moment, just roughly, just round like this. And remember to not press too heavily. We need to rub this out. There we go. So there we are. Next, we're going to draw just a slightly smaller circle and it's going to be slightly higher than this one. So I'm just going to draw a little line, just going slightly upwards just so that I can get it right. There we go. So this one's going to cross. So I'm going to do the part where they cross. Here. So another circle, just slightly smaller. It's going to be the front part of the body. There we go. I must say this is my favourite dog. I love Pomeranians, absolutely love them. They're just so cute. There we go. So just another rough circle. It's just ever so slightly smaller than the other. But maybe it's just a teeny little bit smaller. There we go. Although I think mine are pretty much the same size. Oh well, it's okay. There we go. We're now going to draw a third circle, which is for the head. Now this one's going to overlap here. Just drawing the head, so there's another circle. So as you can tell, my circles aren't very perfect, but they're just our guidelines. They don't need to be perfect. There we go. There we go. So now we have the head and the body. We're going to add in the legs. So starting from the back, just draw a little line, just slightly curved, ever so slightly curved, coming downwards, across, and then it goes up like this. Okay, now we're going to do the front legs. So just starting just very close to where these two circles cross, we're going to draw a line coming downwards. We're going to draw a line coming across and then another one coming forwards like that. We're going to draw the other front leg which comes down here just ever so slightly higher than this one because it's slightly further away coming down and round like this and then we're just going to draw little ovals for the paws. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to draw the ears. So here's one ear. Make sure that it crosses this line here. And then the other ear just peeping out from behind. There we go. And last but not least, I'm just going to draw where the nose is going to be just slightly higher than where this circle crosses this circle. Just going to be here. And that's the end of stage one. Stage two, now I'm going to do this in pen just so that you can see it, but please, please carry on in pencil. So just carry on doing these little kind of fur marks. They're just kind of little, almost like brush strokes using the pen or pencil. Just coming all the way down, all the way down, following the shape of this circle, all the way down. And then I'm gonna carry on following the shape of the circle. Then I'm going to come slightly higher to about here. So from here, I'm going to draw like these furry lines to about here, okay? Now I'm going to go downwards again towards the front leg and then stop. I'm going to go upwards ever so slightly and then come down again and now really long ones because it's extremely fluffy towards the front. So here we go. There we go. Just to about there. Now I'm going to draw the tail. So coming back here, I'm going to draw some really furry lines. So coming all the way around, its tail's kind of put forward and then coming down downwards like this 
do about here. Just make that a little bit darker, this area here. Okay, now we're going to draw the feet. So the back of the legs, just draw that quite furry. The front isn't quite so furry, so just little lines like this. And then obviously the little paws, so one like that. Just poking out from under all the fur, just here. Okay, we're going to do the same for the front legs. Lots of fur here. And then lots of fur at the front, but not quite so furry. Coming down, little paw, just like that. And now for this other front leg, just draw the furry bit behind the leg. And again, just the paw. Now here's a fun fact, Pomeranians weren't always so small. They used to weigh almost 13 kilograms. That's a lot more than my one-year-old daughter. Um, but then they were bred down in size by Queen Victoria. So there you go. Now we're going to do the ears. So just make them super, super, super fluffy. So lots of these furry lions, as I like to call them. And then the inside of the ear, some more little furry lines. And then we're just gonna draw these furry lines coming all the way down and round like that. We're going to draw the back of the head. So more furry lines, more of them coming downwards to there. And we're gonna draw even more coming downwards to about there. We're just gonna draw the back, which is relatively smooth like this. Now we're going to focus on the head. So we're going to draw this lovely little nose. So it's almost like a little button nose. Just like that. And then it comes down ever so slightly. of the nose, relatively straight, and then we're just going to draw just the other little eye poking out from behind. There we go. Now, the other eye is just on this line here, that circle, so you've got a good marker to tell you where it is. And then we're just going to draw the eye, like that. And then don't forget to leave a little bit white so it shows that the light's reflecting the eye. Just tiny little details just around the eye. There we go. Just like that, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, you with me? Now we're going to draw lots of little dots for the whiskers. There we go, on either side and a few little whiskers. Doo -doo -doo. There we go, there's a few of them. And then we're going to draw more fur Lots more fur, there's loads of fur with Pomeranians. Loads and loads and loads and loads of fur coming all the way around. And then just that other ear, just peeking out from behind. And we're gonna finish off with the fur just around here, making it super, super furry. And then we're just going to draw a little bit of fur just around the face area. A little bit of shadow underneath the chin. There we go. We're just going to perfect it, doing a little bit of shadow here and there. So lots of shadow. The other legs just poked, just tucked in behind this leg so we can't quite see it. Keep on doing more and more shadow. There we go, just behind the leg, more and more shadow. There we go. And there is a really, really cute Pomerania. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase all the pencil markings and show you our finished product. Okay, so I've erased all the pencil markings. I'm going to finish this off just by just lengthening the fur here. And it's darker because it's on the underbelly of the dog. And also I'm going to draw in some shadow just underneath the dog. 
just so that it looks like it's standing on something. It's not floating around. There we go. There we go. go so there's our finished Pomeranian don't forget to sign it and check out all the other videos in the dog series I hope you're enjoying dog week if you've enjoyed this one please hit subscribe and like and I do hope to see you on the next one see you soon bye bye